my name is Dante Kenya. I teach chemistry, physics, and integrated science. In this video, I am going to show you the parts of a light microscope, and I am also going to tell you the functions of all the parts of a light microscope. So, if you are a science student, be sure to watch this video up to the end, and if you are a science teacher, be sure to share this video with your learners. Let's get started. It is important to note that a light microscope is very delicate because most of the parts are made of glass and therefore a light microscope is stored in this box. This is how we store a light microscope. And like I have said, we store it here to avoid cases of breakage and damage. I am now going to show you the parts of a light microscope. This part here is called the ocular tube. The ocular tube, this part that I am removing is called the eyepiece lens. The eyepiece lens. This is the eyepiece lens. So we put the eyepiece lens inside the ocular tube. Then we have this part. This part here. This part is called the body tube. This part is called the body tube. Then from the body tube, we have this other part. This part, the one that I'm touching, is called the revolving nose piece. The revolving nose piece. Then from here, we have this other part. This part is called the objective lens. The objective lens. Then if you are keen enough, then you can see that we have three of them. We have three objective lenses one two and three those are three objective lenses from the lenses we have this part this part is called the stage this is the stage then here around where we have the stage we have these ones this is a clip and this one is a clip i'm going to tell you their functions then from here we have this part this part is called this part here is called a condenser this is a condenser then from the condenser moving down here we have a part that is called the diaphragm then from the diaphragm we have this part here this part is called the mirror this is a mirror this part is called the mirror then from the mirror we have this other part we have this part this part the one that I am holding this part is called the arm. This part is called the arm. Then from the arm, we have this part. This part, the one that I am rotating, is called the coarse adjustment knob. This is the coarse adjustment knob, the two of them. This one and this one. These ones are the coarse adjustment knobs. Then from there, we have this other part. This part is called the fine adjustment knob, the two of them, this one and this one, these ones are the fine adjustment knob. So we have the coarse adjustment knobs and we have the fine adjustment knobs. Then from there, guys, we have the base. This is the base. This is the base of our microscope. This part is the base of our microscope. Let us now look at the functions of the parts of a light microscope. And we are going to start with this part. This part here is called the eyepiece lens. This is a lens. This is called the eyepiece lens. The function of this part is to magnify the specimen. So the function of this one is for magnification of the specimen. Then we have this part that we are calling the ocular tube. The ocular tube, this is where we place, this is where we place this lens that we are calling the eyepiece lens. Let us now go to this part. This part is called the body tube. The function of this part is to hold the revolving nose piece and to also hold the eyepiece lens. Let us now go to these lenses, the three of them. One, two, three. These ones are called the objective lenses. The function of these lenses is, to also, to, is also to magnify the specimen. So the objective lenses works together with the eyepiece lens to magnify the specimen. Let us now go to this part. This part is called the stage. This part is called the stage. 
this is where we place the specimen and what we do guys we, p we place the specimen on a slide a glass slide and then we put the slide here and then we hold the glass, glass slide using these clips and then now we can observe the specimen from above here so guys here this is where we place the specimen the work of these clips this one and this one the two of them these are called the clips there's a clip and another clip the function of these clips is to hold the glass slide that we place here with the specimen so we have talked about two things the stitch this is where we place the specimen using a glass slide and the clips the two of them they are used to hold the, the slide that comes with the specimen let us now go to this part let us go to this part this part is called the diaphragm and this part is called the condenser the function of the diaphragm is to control the amount of light that passes to the condenser so this is the diaphragm the diaphragm controls the amount of light that passes to the condenser if you look at the diaphragm you are going to realize that uh, it opens and closes it opens and closes let me remove this one so that we can see I want you to look at I want you to look at the diaphragm it closes and it opens and closes it opens and closes opens and closes this part is called the diaphragm it controls the amount of light that gets through to the condenser <clears throat> let us now go to this part this part here is called the mirror this part is called the mirror the work of the mirror is to reflect the light is to reflect the light through the diaphragm to the condenser guys remember that this microscope is called a light microscope because it uses light and therefore this mirror is the one that reflects the light through the diaphragm to the condenser so when you are using the microscope you have to make sure that you are somewhere where you have a lot of light that is coming through so that this mirror can reflect the light through the diaphragm to the condenser let us now go to the, to the condenser the condenser ensures that all the light that passes through the diaphragm goes to the stage in simple terms we say that the condenser concentrates all the light to the stage so guys the condenser ensures that all the light that is coming from the mirror it ensures that all the light that is coming from the mirror goes to the stage let us now go to this other part this part is called the base the work of the base is to give the microscope support it acts as a support system for the light microscope we use it to place the microscope on a bench so you can see the work of this base is to support the microscope on a bench now guys let us go to this other part this part is called the coarse adjustment knob the coarse adjustment knob so what happens and i want you to see this when you turn the coarse adjustment knob the body tube moves down the body tube moves down and you can also use it to move the body tube up like this it can move the body tube down it can also move the body tube up so the function of the coarse adjustment knob is to move the body tube up and down through longer distances through longer distances so that you can get a rough focus of the specimen let me let me come again the function of the coarse adjustment knob is to move the body tube up and down so that you can get a rough focus of the specimen let us now go to this part this part here is called this is the fine adjustment knob the fine adjustment knob the fine adjustment knob the function of this part is to move the body tube again is to move the body tube again up and down but now through short distances i want to turn the fine adjustment knob and as you can see you cannot even notice that the body tube is moving up or down so we say that the fine adjustment knobs 
moves the body tube up and down through shorter distances, through shorter distances, so that we can get a very sharp focus of the specimen. Please be very careful with the two knobs, the coarse adjustment knob and the fine adjustment knob. Be very careful with them. Let us now go to the other part of a microscope. We have this part of the microscope that I am using to hold the microscope. This part here. This part. This part is called the arm. This part is called the arm. The function of this arm is, number one, we use it to hold the microscope. This is how I hold a microscope. I can walk with the microscope around the laboratory like this. You can see I am using my hand to hold on the arm so that I can walk around with the microscope. So we say that the function of the arm is to offer a platform where we can hold the microscope from. It, uh, number two, number two, the arm, the arm connects the body tube with the stage. Please note that the stage is, the, is on the lower side and the body tube is on the upper side. So the arm gives a kind of a connection between the body tube and the stage. This part here, this part is called the revolving nose piece. Guys, the work of this revolving nose piece, this part makes it possible to switch from one objective lens to the other one. For example, if I want to use this objective lens to magnify my specimen, I am going to rotate the lenses using the revolving nose piece. So guys, as you can see, the revolving nose piece, it rotates like this. Can you see? It rotates. And I have therefore switched from one lens to the other one until you hear a click sound. Until you hear a click sound. I want us now to switch from this lens to this lens using the revolving nose piece. I want to switch from this lens to this lens using the revolving nose piece. Let us now switch to this one. Very good. So guys, the function of these lenses is to magnify the specimen and the function of this revolving nose piece is to rotate the lenses so that you can switch from one lens to the other one. If you enjoyed watching this video, remember to like the video, subscribe to this channel, remember to hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.